Hey everyone, this is Owen with Motion Array, and in this tutorial, I'll be showing you a free script I've put together that makes adjusting the velocity of keyframes super easy. It's called Under the Influence, and you can download it with the link in the description below. All right, let's get started. So once you have the script downloaded, you can install it by putting it in your script UI folder. To get there, you can go to your applications, then to the version of After Effects you're using, then Scripts, Script UI Panels, and you just paste it in here. And once it's in that folder, you just need to restart After Effects and you're good to go. Okay, so back in After Effects, you can open up the script by going to Window under the Influence. This pulls up a window and then you can just dock it wherever you want in your UI. So the interface is very straightforward. It's got text inputs for outgoing and incoming velocity influences and go buttons to apply those values. To demonstrate the script, I'm gonna go ahead and make a new composition and I'll make it 1920 by 1080. All that stuff looks good. And then I'll hit okay. Inside the new comp, I'll make a new solid by going to layer, new solid, and I'll make it 100 by 100 and I'll just call this a square. I'll also turn my transparency off so that we have a black background. At frame zero, I'll pull up the position of my square and set a keyframe for the left side of the screen. Then I'll move to frame 30 or one second and I'll drag that square over to the right side of the screen. Now, previously to ease these keyframes and then to apply exact influence values, I would highlight these keyframes, right click, go to keyframe assistant, easy ease. Then I'd right click on one again and go to keyframe velocity and set the influence for 60 and then 100 and then hit okay. It's a little bit tedious, but with under the influence, all I need to do is highlight my keyframes and then put in my values for outgoing and incoming velocity and then just hit go for each. And then I'm done. If I do that one more time with the graph editor showing, you'll get to see it in action. So I'll switch these back to linear. Then I'll go to my graph editor and highlight both these keyframes. And then I'll use under the influence to apply those. And you can see the graph changing from a straight line to this peaked value. And if I ran preview, you can see I've got a nice ease. Another strength of Under the Influence is that I can apply those influence values to multiple properties at once, which I cannot do with the keyframe velocity dialog. I'll show you what I'm talking about here. So I have a square and it's animating across the screen with position, but it's also animating that scale and rotation. So if I highlight all these keyframes and I apply an easy ease, I can then go to my graph editor so you can see what those curves look like. I'll select those keyframes again, and then I'll right click and go to keyframe velocity. Here, I'll change those influences to 60 and 100. And you'll see that it only changed the values for my scale. My position and rotation did not get those values. So that's a problem. And if you had a whole lot of keyframes, it would take a long time to apply all those influence values. But with under the influence, you can do this all with just a few clicks. So I'll set these back to linear and I'll go to my graph editor and I'll select all these keyframes again. Then I'll just go up to under the influence and hit go. And you can see there that those influence values have been applied to all my properties. This also works for multiple layers at once. So in this example, I've got a similar animation, but I've got three different squares. So all I really need to do is highlight all the keyframes and go through the same process of just hitting go and all of them have those influences applied all with just a couple of clicks. One more thing I'd like to point out is that under the influence does not add expressions to your keyframes. It simply changes the influence values. So if you want to add expressions, you can, and under the influence won't mess that up. In this example here, I've got three circles scaling up with some overshoot, and they've got a bounce applied with our other script, Easy Inertia. 
if I wanted to ease that overshoot keyframe, I just need to select them and then I can apply whatever values I'd like. So for this outgoing, maybe I want it to be 50 and my incoming to be 80. Then I just hit go and all that's done. If you're interested in easy inertia, it's also free and we've got a great tutorial explaining how to use it and we'll link that in the description below. Well, that concludes this tutorial. I hope you guys find Under the Influence as useful as I do. So give it a download and let us know what you think. And if you'd like to see more tutorials, please go ahead and subscribe because we're making new ones all the time. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.